Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. We are in week five of distant learning. So we're doing pretty good. We're, we've made it quite a ways through. Um, today's assignment, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating another thinking map, more specifically a tree map, and it's going to be on the Dred Scott case. Okay, And what we're going to be looking at is we're going to be looking at the issues of the case and how the court ruled on that case. So go ahead and since we're creating a tree map, go ahead and go to insert drawing new. And you should get your checkerboard here. This should be fairly routine now on how to do your thinking map in Google Docs, but if you're still not sure, you can slow the video down and see what I'm doing with the cursor. So the first thing we need to create is our topic. And for today's topic, it is going to be the Dread Scott case. That is what we are looking at today. And for our subtopics, we're going to have two. First of all, for the first one, let me go ahead and draw another box here first. There you go. For the first one, we are going to be looking at what the issues of the case were. So what the issues of the case were. Okay, there's, there's three issues that mainly come up during this court case. And then for our second box, what we're gonna be looking at is how did the court rule. Now when you answer how the court ruled, you, I, I don't want you to just say no. I want you to explain why they ruled the way they did or what they were thinking at the time. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and as always do the first example together and then I will let you guys take over and finish it out. So, the issues. What is one of the issues? One of the issues is that the court had to determine whether or not Scott was even a U.S. citizen. So the court had to determine whether or not Scott was even a U.S. citizen. Okay? Remember, Scott is a former slave, or, well, he is a slave who is suing for his freedom, stating that because he had lived in free territories at points in his life um, with his master, that had made him a free man. All right? So essentially what he's saying is because I had to live in these free states or these free territories at some time, that is when I became a free man. So he's suing, but the court has to determine, can he even sue? He's a slave. They are going to have a ruling, and it's probably one of the darkest, if not the darkest and... Uh, worst rulings in U.S. history, and it's a, it's a stain on our country. Essentially, this is how the court rules. The court determines that no, he is not a U.S. citizen. Not only that, 
Uh, Roger B. Taney, the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court at the time, had argued that the nation's founders believed that African Americans had no rights which a white man was bound to respect. In other words, the court had ruled that African Americans, whether they were free or not, simply were not American citizens under the Constitution. Essentially, you're, you're not even acknowledged under this government. Even if you're a free man, just because you're an African American. That is what our Supreme Court at the time had decided in this case. Like I said, this is a, a terrible stain on our history. So make sure you add that in as well. Supreme Court... Um, had stated that African Americans, whether free or not, were not American citizens. That is their argument, or at least that's that's what the majority had ruled in this case. Okay, so we've got our first issue, and we've got how our court ruled. There is two more issues that I want you to look up and how the court rules. Now remember, I don't want you to put a simple no or yes. I want you to be detailed. Why are they stating what they're stating? Okay, you need to say why the court is ruling the way they are. Remember, for the first one, was Scott even a U.S. citizen? Your answer was no, and it wasn't just no. It was because the Supreme Court had felt that African Americans, whether they were free or not, were not American citizens. Okay, so that's what you need to include. So... Your second issue that you are going to be looking up is had Scott's time living in a free state made him a free man. I'm sure you already know where this is going, but remember you need to fill out why they are you that way. And the third issue you're going to be looking up is, was it constitutional to prohibit slavery in parts of the Louisiana purchase okay so those are your other two issues that you're going to fill in on how the Supreme Court rules okay like I said do not just put yes or no you need to explain why they are ruling the way they rule all right anyways guys I hope you're all doing well uh, have a great day, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.